Okay, in this video, I am going to just give you an overview of our course website and help you to navigate um, throughout this course. Now, a lot of the things that we do um, will be, we'll start on this website and then you might complete it over in Blackboard. And the reason for that is because um, for Blackboard, since this is an online course, we have to verify that you are spending the right amount of time. And so your discussion boards will be done in Blackboard and your assignment submissions will be done in Blackboard. And, um, but all of the content is here on this website because um, to me, it is easier to navigate um, on a website than it is through folders on Blackboard. So I'm hoping that this works for us. It's the first time I've done this for this class. And so I will be asking for some feedback about that. And um, so on this first um, homepage that you land on, we really I really just put the syllabus a little bit about me, how to get in contact with me, and then the syllabus itself. You can click here and um, get the course syllabus link or I embedded it here as well and you can go through it and find specific things that you um, want. Uh, all of the different policies are there. I'm not going to read them to you, um, but you do need to have a readily available computer with good internet access. We will be doing a lot of posting, tweeting, um, discussing everything online, obviously, so you need to have Read, read, uh, ready access, sorry, to that. And um, you need to actually sign in and work daily. You need to remember that this course is a four week course, but it's still three graduate credit hours. And so what basically that means is we will be doing one week worth of content every single day because um, we only meet for uh, four weeks, which is about 16 days. So if you think about that, then um, there's a lot. So you're going to be spending a lot of time on the computer. Um, I have made it to where you have access to all of the content um, from the first day on this course website, but you cannot start discussion boards early. Like you cannot get them all done in one day. Um, I'm getting ahead of myself though. So let me just show you about the um, website itself. On the course schedule, um, I have taken the lessons week by week and the projects and put them in a consolidated form to where you can see what you I suggest you should be doing each day. Now for um, I'm trying something new with this course. I am making everything, due by Friday midnight of that week. And what that means is that um, you do not have specific due dates throughout the rest of the days of the week, but everything is due by Friday midnight. So you need to determine what be works best for your schedule. I do recommend that you start your small group discussion boards early in the week so you actually have time to discuss. Because if I just see you making a post and then barely having any interaction with your other group members, um, your grade on those discussion boards will not be very good. And discussion boards are a large portion of your grade in this class because it's how I can see that you are um, exploring the content and interacting and thinking and reflecting about how it will work in your own classroom. So that's really important to think about. But what I've done on this calendar and on the website here um, in general is I have taken each week and the things that you're going to have to do for that week and broken it down by day. And so for each week, we are going to be exploring, reflecting, evaluating different things, designing and responding. So we will do all those things every week. But I have put on this um, consolidated calendar what I suggest you do um, each day. Now, again, it's not required until Friday midnight of that week. But what I've also done on this is every time you see a highlighted B, capital B, smaller case B, that means you are going to do it on Blackboard. So I've tried to make it easier for you um, to know where to go to do what thing. So hopefully that will help a little bit. Um, and so you can see that you're going to be busy. 
Um, you can work ahead like on Monday if you want to do these things, but you also want to respond on the small group discussion board. Go for it. If you want to do all of these things on Monday to, to get it out of the way, that's totally fine. And then check back um, at toward the end of the week to respond to your group members. That's totally fine with me as well. And so you can go here kind of as a checklist if you want to um, do it like that. That's totally fine with me. So you can go there to check. The other thing, I've also made a link there to that document if you want. The other thing I want you to look at are the lessons. So I have taken um, each week again and broken it down by what I would suggest and expanded upon it here in the weekly tabs. And so um, I basically give you a to-do list, what you should do for that day with my suggestions. Um, I also try to, I've given you an overview video for each week. So in week one, what will you be doing? What will we be thinking about? I will also be adding um, my my take, my comments, my perspective on the discussion boards. While you guys are discussing, I will um input some information and things like that. So this isn't going to be my only interaction with you, but it will be one of the ones that I do each week. Um, and so then what I, how I have it structured is usually you explore resources. There's an overview video, video you explore resources. Lots of times you get to choose. So I'll say choose at least three, two are your choice, and then one is marked required. And so I have um, down here, I have a required. Um, but I give you, um, I tried to give you a variety of resources, whether it be videos, um, articles, here's an infographic, another um, visual um, that you can read about and, and screencastify, or not screencastify, uh, sketch notes, sorry. Um, and then I tell you what to do with that information. So you're going to um, go to your small group discussion board. And again, when this BB is here, that means you're going to be going back over to Blackboard. Um, and I tell you exactly what you should be doing, how you should be writing. And then I give you an example for this first time because I really want you to um, think about the uh, resources that you are using and how to respond to them and how to actually cite them within your response. I want you to draw the connections between what you're learning and the resources that you have. And um, that's really important. The other thing that I almost always do on your small group discussion board posts is um, have you offer out your offer your questions. And these are questions that you don't know the answers to. These are questions that come up while you're reading. How would this actually work? I'm not sure I understand what this means. Um, these, I want you to have two questions per discussion board, I think for every single one. I'll, I put it on the, the tasks, tasks for that day. Um, but that is really important to me. And then you'll have a resource list on each discussion board post. Um, and then the other things that we have on the course website are um, your assignments. And you'll notice under project descriptions, the assignments are there. Now, you actually have six assignments, that, but there's only four project descriptions here. And the reason is, is because two of them are pretty um, small, and I just didn't think they needed a description, but they will be linked within the days of what you're going to be doing. And so whenever there's an assignment, um, you can click on that and it will actually take you to the description of what that assignment entails. So, and then I tell you what to do by Friday, um, just like this one, here's an assignment number two, but it actually is a post on a Padlet. Um, so anyway, and then at the final part of each week, I have a checklist. So all these things you should have done by Friday midnight. OK, so that's how each week is structured. And then again, whenever the project descriptions are just the specifics for each one of the bigger projects. Um, and then I also have a helpful resor resources 
page, which I might add to. Um, here's my YouTube channel. I have made a lot of videos for this class and they're all linked or embedded within the place where you will need them. But if you want to go to my YouTube channel to find some other things that you might want to do, I have lots of things there on how to use certain tools, how to embed things, how to link to things, how to find specific things. Um, you can go there. And then the online writing lab at Purdue, the owl at Purdue is APA formatting help. Really great simple um, help straightforward about how to do APA formatting, which you will do in your in your writing, your posting and your resource citations. And then the um, our class Twitter feed. And um, this is really just to a search by EDU by 213. If you want to click on that to find out what people are um, tweeting about, then that is there as well. So again, if you have any questions about anything, if something is not working for you, like where it's placed or the link or anything like that, please let me know. I would um, really like to hear your feedback because as, as you know, sometimes how it works in your brain doesn't always um, come out how you're teaching it. So those will be really helpful to me as I um, redo, revise this uh, class for the future. So that's an overview of our course website. I hope it is helpful to you as we begin this semester and um, this class. I look forward to learning alongside you.